Today we're going to be taking a look at some Finch knives. Let's check them out. What's going on guys? Grady here with Grady's Gear and today we're going to be taking a look at some Finch knives. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the Cimarron which if you guys have already seen my unboxing video and first impressions of this you've already seen this. We're also going to be taking a look at the Runtley, which was for, uh, Finch's first release that they came out with and the Holiday. So this is going to be a triple review for me. I've never done this before so we're going to try it and go through it with it uh, with y'all together. All right. So first off, let's start with the Cimarron since I already did an unboxing video on this guy. Now, everything that I said in my first impressions on this still stands true. I think this is an excellent value. This thing is running on bearings. You're getting G10 handle scales. These are layered, so they have two different colors on here, and they got a bunch of different color options for you guys. You also have <clears throat> you also have this beautiful, beautiful blade right here. It is rocking the 14C28 in steel, which I did some re research on this steel, and it seems to me like it's uh, it's got the same similarities of VG10. So all you Spyderco fans and stuff like that. If you have any experience with that, it's got the same similarities. Like I said, I am not a blade steel snob, but this seems to perform just fine for me. It is drop shutty. This is smooth G10. Now, I did see where some people were saying that, you know, that they're not really a big fan of the smooth G10 because they think it's a little slick. I actually like it because with this titanium mill pocket clip here, it makes transitioning in and out of the pocket really really easy so I actually really like that a lot and it flips like a freaking dream guys this thing is awesome it is a liner lock as you can see right here and it disengages very easily and it is drop shutty let's take a look at that blade centering pretty much dead on I do like that just great fit and finish on this overall, guys. 89 bucks. This is the cheapest knife that you can get from Finch at this point in time. $89, you're getting a lot of value for your money. And in typical Finch fashion, all of their little logos, insignias right here, they do glow in the dark. They have loom in them. I think that's a really cool feature. So yeah, this is just a quick overview of the Cimarron. It's just my quick review because pretty much everything I said about it that I liked and everything that I needed to say about it was in my unboxing and first impressions video. I have been carrying all three of these now for about a week and a half, almost two weeks now. Now let's move on to the Runtley real quick. Now this one caught me off by surprise. Guys, it is a tiny, tiny knife. It is not big at all, but it is mighty. I absolutely love this blade. Now, in my video, when I unboxed the Cimarron, I told you guys that I had spoken with Spencer from Finch Knives. Uh, we messaged back and forth a little bit, and I told you guys he was a really, really cool dude. Just really, a really humble human being. And we were talking, and he was like, you know, hey, you want to get some more models in your hands? I'd like, uh, and I was like, uh, yeah, sure. And he sent me over the Runtley and the Holiday. He asked me what models I was interested in, and I was interested in these two. So he sent these over to me. So shout out to Finch Knives. Shout out to Spencer. Thank you so much, brother, for supporting me and supporting the channel and what I do here. Thank you so much. Quick shout out, guys. <laughs> but let's get back to the review. Now, this thing fits a few different roles for me. The first roll it fits, it is a great secondary knife. I like to carry this in the fifth pocket of my jeans, drop it in there, and have a secondary knife. It is perfect for that. I don't even need to clip it. I just drop this directly down into my pocket, in that fifth pocket, and it drops in there nicely, and I got me a little box cutter. 
which brings me to my second roll for me. This thing, I think I'm going to have as a dedicated unboxing knife. I've done a couple of unboxing videos on Instagram. If you haven't checked me out there, check me out. But I went live and did, uh, did some uh, unboxings on there, and I used this. And this works perfectly for that with this kind of razor blade type shape. Warncliffe is what I call it, or modified sheep's foot, whatever you want to call it. I absolutely love it, and it's really, really thin behind the edge. This thing is a good slicer. I believe the overall length on this guy is like 5.75 overall inches, so it's very, very tiny. But, I mean, the action on this thing, it is on bearings. They're all on bearings. I mean, it fires right out. And that's one of the reasons why I like it as a dedicated unboxing knife. I was going to get one of those razor blades like Best Damn EDC has and, you know, or the uh, the new Gerber one with a pry bar on it. I was going to get one of those as a dedicated unboxing knife, but I decided to go with this because it has that fidget factor to it that I like. I mean, these things, the fit and finish on these things are just freaking phenomenal. I can't get over these. This is the Ghost Green color, which is a JG10, which was my first JG10 anything on a knife. And I absolutely love it. It's kind of translucent. It reminds me of like alien skin because you can kind of see through it. This is riding with a titanium pocket clip as well. And it carries beautifully, which I'm going to bring you into my third roll that this fits. We are about to be getting hit with high numbers of heat in Florida. It's going to be summertime before we know it. And this is going to be a perfect primary carry, primary carry for me for when I'm wearing board shorts and stuff like that. It's going to work very well for that. It is rocking the 154 CM blade as opposed to the Cimarron. It, you are getting a higher end blade still with this. Price on this guy is 129 So you are paying a little bit more. But it is definitely worth it in my opinion. This thing is awesome. All right. The Holiday. One of the coolest knives named after Doc Holiday. And if I did not mention what this is, the design inspiration is on this, it's after a fishing lure, which I thought was pretty rad. As you can see, you also get the jade backspacer. I forgot to mention that. But this is after Doc Holiday. And if you don't know who Doc Holliday is, you're living under a rock. He is awesome. If you've ever watched Tombstone, which is my dad's favorite movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can get these in three different handle materials. This is the black linen micarta. Then you also have like a white bone and then a wood, uh, wood scale version as well. And this micarta is polished. It is not grippy. It's polished. And the transitioning right here between the bolster and the micarta is seamless guys if I were to close my eyes and just rub my finger down here I would not tell where they meet this thing is great I have, and this one out of all of them has the best action I mean it fires out that beautiful worn cliff blade I cannot get enough of this and it does have like that polished finish on it or satin absolutely love this blade as you can see it says finch right there on the blade stock titanium milled pocket clip as well and it carries beautifully glides in and out of the pocket now this one is a frame lock as you can see or a bolster lock whatever you want to call it i call it a, a frame lock so that's essentially what it is and this thing is so smooth it is like glass. It's hard to explain until you get one in your hand. But it flies right out. I had my finger on the lock bar. Let's try this again. I mean, it is beautiful. Blade centering on this guy is dead on. I freaking love this knife. This for me fits the role of... If I'm going out to dinner with the wife, you know, I'm going somewhere a little dressy, this is what I'll throw in my pocket. I don't, it's almost too nice for me to carry. I just, I love the design on this thing. It is so awesome. <laughs> All 
I'm sorry, guys. I gush over Finch, but they just make stuff I like. This is running on bearings. And I mean, out of the box, I did not need to do anything to this. I've carried it. I've enjoyed it. Let's see right here. You see the, where the pocket clip right here? How it kind of tapers down? Makes it glide in and out of the pocket so easily. Nothing is sharp. Nothing's grabbing me or anything. It gives me just enough to pull it out. It's not a deep carry, but it gives me just enough. This thing is awesome. And one of the things that they do on all their blades, I want to show you this right now because this is one of the selling points for the Runtley for me. You see how they have jimping on the bottom right here. So I can choke up like this on the neck. This makes a more comfortable grip for more controlled cuts. And it's absolutely fantastic. Now, I don't know if they did that on purpose or if it was just how they designed it. If they did do it on purpose, I hope they did. It was genius because it works great on this, but it's where it makes the Runtley really shine. So whenever I can choke up just like this and get my finger on here, I have a better grip on this. And the guys, I got large size hands. You know, I do have skinny fingers, but I got large size hands. I get a good purchase on this. It's still, you know, three and a half. Oh, I can get about a four inch. Yeah, about a four inch grip. But it provides that much more support. Now, obviously, I would not tell you to do this if you're hard using the knife right here because your finger could slip and you can cut yourself. So, But if you just want that extra grip on there just to choke up, give you those precise cuts that you're going to do, it is great for that. The Runtley is the one that has gotten the most pocket time. It's the one that surprised me the most. I um, I do like knives on the smaller side, but when I first pulled this out of the package and seen how small it was, I was not sure until I started carrying it. About three days into carrying it, I was just like, this is awesome. Absolutely love it. Really, really cool blade. Now, And you can get these in a bunch of different colors. I've seen them in blue, I've seen them in yellow. You know, Spencer did ask me what color I wanted and I told him it was between the jade and the yellow just to surprise me and he sent me this one. And I'm glad that he did because I'm really digging these jade scales on here. As you can see also, it's got a stone wash grind on there and satin flats. If you guys can see that. Beautiful. And if I did not mention the price on the holiday, I believe the holiday is going for 130 as well. Maybe 150. I'll have to check. I will leave a link to Finch's website in the description below. But they really do have something for everybody. If you're not into this kind of style, you know, the old school style, or if you're looking to get your first Finch and you're just, you know, you want to spend less than $100, I would say go, you know, go with the Cimarron. 89 bucks. G10, titanium pocket clip, it's a flipper, really easy to operate, flies right out, it's on bearing, it's a liner lock, it's very slim in the pocket, this thing carries like an Ultratech, because it's got this real neutral kind of handle, and how it tapers down right here, makes it to be very comfortable, I'm going to throw these up here like this so you can see a a little size difference here. I'm trying to do this behind the camera. So, the Cimarron is the biggest, but it's not huge. And I cannot wait to see some more Finch knives. I know they got some more models coming out. If you follow them on Instagram, you've seen that. But right now, this one is the biggest one. And you know, you got some jipping right here, and it's functional, it works great. I've been carrying all of these. And I've been enjoying every single one of them. They each have a different role in my rotation. They are priced amazing for what you're getting. I mean, look at that blade centering on that holiday. It's pretty much, that is perfect. I, I'm a sucker for warnings and whew, that blade. I mean, this thing just flies. Love it. But. If you ask me which one's my favorite right now, I'm going to tell you it's the Runtley. I just think it's sporty, it's fun, small, snappy little 
<laughs> it's a snappy freaking knife. I love it. But yeah, guys, this is my review on all three of these blades right now. I decided to do a triple review because I've been carrying these, all three of these for the past two weeks. And instead of separating it out, I was like, screw it. I'm going to challenge myself and give a triple review. So I hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.